Hi everyone, this is Glossius. Um, today I'm going to go over some important and unimportant stones. So, this is the game, and uh, everything over here is settled. I didn't have enough stones to play out the entire position, so just ignore this side of the board and focus on what's up here. So, black plays here, and white to play. Now, if white goes here, I could then force block to capture and then get back to attack this group. Now, with anyone um, who does some life and death, you might start seeing that you can push this group some. So this stone might be in preparation for pushing this group. Uh, but what I want to get over is if white goes here and black responds, then is this stone, is saving this stone and capturing this stone as important? as what white thought it was. So let's say white captures and now white's follow-up is nothing. See so if white goes there, black goes there, white connects, black takes. So this stone right here, these two stones are very unimportant stones. And black also, uh, playing here is very slow since he's already fine. He should play right here. So instead of going right here, white goes right here. And here, black responds like this, and white plays a double Atari. Now, which stone to save? These two stones or this black stone? First, I'll show you the game. Black plays here, white plays here. And then black sees that it's only one eye on the inside. Uh, you'll have to read that for yourself. And if black plays there and white doesn't have to respond, I can then go here. Black goes here. And then white goes here and black is dead. So. Black didn't go here during the game. He went here. And here. And well, slightly different than the board position. So um here we can see that uh black is dying on the inside, right? So let's go back. Now one thing I forgot to explain is Black uh, did not play this move during the game. This is just an example I wanted to go over. So this stone's not actually here. Uh, I believe he played somewhere else or something other. Either that or it was White's turn already. Um, oh, Black connected his stones right here and then White ignored. Uh, I wanted to go over why this move is so small and if Black played that move, why that move is so small. Because while this move may commonly be ignored, a move like this to force them to capture is very common among cues and a very common mistake and it's very easy to ignore that move and take a one move lead or get uh, get the first move somewhere big. So this actually was played during the game just without the stone and white played here. So as we saw in the game black played this move and then tried to run out. So let's see if black plays this move, white takes two stones, and then black goes here, and he already has life. So in the game, um, what black saw is black said this can get life, but then white will get the first move on the rest of the board. So, and he didn't like that. Instead, what he did was, he thought if he saved the two stones, <clears throat> If he saved the two stones, he could then run out and try and destroy this area out here. Because White had some points right here. So he wanted to run out and get in and destroy this area. Or at least run out and try to run out while forcing White to um, make less points. So White played here in the game. White played here. And then white connected. 
and I believe that point here. Oh, sorry, here. And the game. And this is the game. Wait, please here. So here it's um very careful reading. And okay, so I've only spent five minutes over five minutes. Um, so I'll go ahead and explain this. Uh, so the point of this video was to address which stones are important to save. In this case, uh, Black should have saved the one stone and just taken life so that way he isn't getting chased and nearly die. Um, and over here, that one stone uh, capture over here is very small if it's not doing anything else. So here, two stones are smaller than one stone, and here one stone was smaller than everything else. Alright, so um, I have four minutes left, so I'll go ahead and just show you what happened in the game. And I won't go into too much detail here. Um, I'm hoping people will be able to read this out for themselves. But, what place here now? Oh, nope. What place here? And I hope you'll be able to read it out so I don't have to go move by move how each of these work. And why each of these rules were played. So here, um, black is dead on the inside, and game over after this point. Did you try anything else? Yeah, I believe he tried some life and death here. Interesting stuff this is. I'm not positive that this is the best way to kill, but I believe it worked. Yeah. So here, um, Black is dead and nothing he can do. Uh, the game went on for a little bit more, but this is dead and game over. So, um, What basically happened here was, um, if you saw, here's some, uh, I guess a good tech and events device. Um, black could have made ice shape here and here, but as soon as black played his sentient moves, white played one that would cut off the rest of the stones and took away his ice shape. So black fixed, and then white fixed, and then black came out here, um, to here, and black played here, and when black went back, he took away his second eye again, knowing that, um, oh, I believe he haunted back, no, uh, here, 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 then he took away the eye. So, um, this taking away the eye, what he did was sent it because it threatened to push here and got one of these two spots off. And then, I'll go back to some. That'd be easier. Uh, like this. So, here, you can see that there's a cut there. And white sees an eye here. So white played here to take away the two eyes. Or to take away eye shape and threaten to cut off these two cutting points. So if white pushes, there's two cuts. So black fixed while also threatening to cut. And white sees that um, he can fix and still cut. So, oh, here's a stone right here. So white fixes and there's still that cut. So black is fixed to cut. White goes here. No way to make an eye, and no way to get out. And I really like this move. It's normally bad shape, but um, it works in this case. And I find that kind of funny. Well, um, I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.